It's Monday, June 13th, 2011, and you're watching This Week in Linux. It's been quite a little while since I've done one of these, and today's going to be a little bit different from what we normally would do. This week in Linux, one of the biggest events that happened was Southeast Linux Fest. Now, I was lucky enough to be able to attend Southeast Linux Fest this year. One of the guys in my lug, Nathaniel McCullum, was giving a presentation and asked if any of the other lug members would like to go down with him. So we split a room, we rode together, all of that fun stuff. And I do have to say I had a wonderful time, learned a whole lot, met a lot of great people, as you probably gleaned from the previous video that I put up. But I thought I would just go ahead and share with you a little bit of my experiences, sort of in a vlog style, while showing off some of the images that I took while I was there. Now on Friday, Nathaniel and I left early in the morning and we drove for the grand majority of the day. We arrived at about 4 o'clock, we got checked into the room, got cleaned up and everything, and then we moved on to the speaker's dinner because Nathaniel was one of the speakers. As I said, we got a chance to go and meet with all of the other speakers and have dinner and everything. Now one of the things I didn't entirely realize until after the dinner was over, four of the people that were sitting at our table were four of the six previous Fedora project leaders. We had Jared Smith, the current lead, Paul Freels, the previous one, Max Spivak, and Greg something. I'm sorry I cannot remember Greg's last name, but it is a very long last name. If you check the Fedora Project Leader page, you can see these four previous guys listed. There were two others before that. I've met one of the two, the original one, uh, MKJ, Michael Johnson, very nice guy. But having a conversation with those guys for the majority of dinner, very entertaining people. After talking with all of them for a little while at dinner, it is very interesting to see their take on Fedora and where things are going. We did talk a little bit about the idea of rolling release for Fedora, but it doesn't sound like that's going to be happening in the near future. But anyway, that's enough about that. We eventually ended up migrating on to the pre-party, which was a load of fun. There, I did get a chance to meet a couple of guys that were from the central Kentucky area like we were. We hung out, had some drinks, ended up going back to the room, and of course, in true geek fashion, spent the evening while watching the IT crowd. By the way, if you are not familiar with the IT crowd, amazing, hilarious show, very geeky, very funny. You will enjoy it, guaranteed, and it is available on Netflix. Saturday, of course, is the primary day of the event. That's where the grand majority of the presentations are, when all of the vendors are going to be there, all of that fun stuff. It's pretty much the same way with all of the events that I've gone to, and at this point, I've actually only been to Indiana Linux Fest, Ohio Linux Fest, and now Southeast Linux Fest. But I got a chance to go around and see a lot of the booths. Cloud.com was there, Linode.com was there. Actually, speaking of that, the guys from Linode.com did give me this very cool t-shirt. It's a bit wrinkled up because I did have to put it in my bag on the way back. I talked to the guy there from Oracle who had someone there from MySQL. He gave me a couple of CDs with the latest, greatest version of Oracle Linux on it, which is basically Red Hat Enterprise Linux with their own kernel on top of it. I got to talk very briefly with the guy from Novell who was there with the 11.4 discs. He said he was trying to get copies of the version with GNOME 3 on it, but they did not arrive in time, so oh well, I'll have to download it and give that a shot as well. And of course I spent quite a bit of time with the Fedora people just talking and hanging out. They had copies of Fedora 15. This is the multi-desktop live DVD with 32 and 64 bit, and if I remember correctly after talking to them it has a lot of the different desktop environments on it as well. They had a bunch of stickers available, not sure if you can see that or not, probably not because of the focus. Bunch of Fedora, Linux, Creative Commons type stickers, and of course a GNOME sticker. Very, very cool. One of the items I was really interested in there, one of the vendor booths that was very sort of entertaining and exciting was fablocker.com, if I remember correctly. They had a 3D printer at their table, which if I remember correctly, again, runs Linux. Or if it doesn't run Linux, it runs on Linux. They had it there giving a brief demonstration, showing the device itself printing out some components. And apparently, it's actually capable of printing components that can be used on itself. So when parts break, it can repair itself, which is kind of scary at the same time as being really, really cool. There were some people there from the Ubuntu Women's Group. There were some KDE people, the Hacker Public Radio Group. There were the Linux in the Ham Shack, Ham Radio podcasters. And again, lots and lots of other tables, lots of other booths. As a bit of a side note there, they did have magazines on the way out that I picked up several of. They have the Ubuntu User Magazine. They had the Linux magazine, Linux Pro magazine, there we go, and of course Linux Journal. Uh, I think I got a chance to meet Sean Powers, the editor of it, a couple of years back at Ohio Linux Fest. Very nice guy, gave an excellent keynote speech when he was there. 
Now, other than that, like I said, the main part of Saturday is the presentations. I got a chance to go to a couple of them, but not quite as many as I would have liked to. We got up a little bit late in the morning after being up too late the night before. I spent some time at one from one of the guys at Fedora talking about molding your users in the style that you want them to be by being a B-O-F-H. And if you're not familiar with that, you might want to Google it. It's, uh, it's actually a really interesting, entertaining website talking about uh, tech support and giving a very comedic side of it with some examples. So you will probably enjoy it if you're watching this video. There were some other presentations I wish I had been able to make it to, but this, that, and the other happened. I didn't end up making it. The one in particular I wanted to see was done by Klaatu. He's a, uh, he does a lot of audio video work online, and every conference I've been to, he has given some sort of video editing talk. This one was about the auteur video editor, which I am not familiar with. If you do know anything about it, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. But other than that, a lot of great things were done that day. A lot of people learned a lot of things, of course. And as I said in the previous video, I did make a lot of great contacts that day. One of the people, like I said before, I did talk to over the course of the weekend was Jared Smith, the current head of the Fedora project. I talked to him briefly about the videos that I make, and he, he said if I was interested in doing some sort of an interview or getting some insider information to let his people know, and we could arrange an interview between he and myself. So if you guys are interested in something like that, definitely let me know, and I'm sure we can work something out with the Fedora project. But to quickly wrap things up, because I've been rambling on for quite a while now, on Sunday, my friend Nathaniel gave his presentation first thing in the morning, talking about building a secure, extensible, something, something, really long title, but basically building a JavaScript environment outside of the browser. He's basically working on a project called Natus, N-A-T-U-S, which is an abstraction library to make whatever JavaScript you're working on with your outside application work with whatever JavaScript engine you want it to work with without having to specify it. I'm probably butchering that, so I do uh, apologize there. Do feel free to go ahead and check out his website. I will have a link for that down below as well. If you would like to know anything else about what went on at Southeast Linux Fest, check out the pictures that I will have up on the Flickr photo stream. I'll have a link for that down below as well or check out southeastlinuxfest.org. This is an event that does happen once a year. I believe this year was the second year for it, and I did have a blast. I believe I'm gonna try to go back again next year. It's a bit of a long drive, but it was definitely worthwhile. A lot of great people, a lot of fun times were had, and of course, lots and lots of drink tickets were handed out, But so can't complain about that. That's all I've got for you today, though. The news will return as scheduled probably tomorrow if I have the time to get through it. Things are going, again, very, very hectic. But thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.